there's Rocksteady signing in. King of the Pit TV. We're listening to DRI's record. Yo, we've had good news earlier on this morning. I mean, we're in the new morning. But I'm celebrating still. I'm drinking. I'm nice. Decisions. I'm celebrating. You know what? I thought I'm on the JD tonight. I listened to a bit of Cradle of Filth before. And don't get me wrong to get me started. A little bit of doom and gloom. I'm calling it the sexy goth genre. Definitely fulfills the same tier as typo negative. I know I know the sexy goth but women, professional women are attending them events. Very nice, very nice. We're listening to DRI though. We're halfway through the bottle, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna have to get some punk or some fresh on. I gotta please the metal heads with this one. So we got decisions at five minutes. One second on the dot. I know this could either be a thriller or a killer. And when I say killer, I mean it could kill me dead. It just could be proper bad. So let's go on. Come on. <laughs> Bro, these, these dudes think they're mad ball with this bass intro. Living in darkness. Yo, you crossover heads, anybody know Maximum Penalty? You you lot know the late 80s New York hardcore band Maximum Penalty. They got some good crossover fresh numbers. Check them out. Here we go. Controversial opinion right now. Yo, I can't take the lyrical content slash vocal too serious purely as he sounds very young on the recording and I am predisposed to and having lived life's experience in my own way, I don't sort of, long story short, I look down on younger vocalists, lyrical content, because I think, what the frick do you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I know this dude's older than me now, obviously. But he sounds young on record at this stage. So I'm thinking it's just some kid on the mic. You know what I mean? I understand a lot of people don't feel that way. Because I've spoken about this to other people. You know what I mean? I've seen, I've seen some cool hardcore bands come through. And their front men have been young. And the band as a general have been young. And I've been thinking, bloody hell, I can't, I can't even go for a mooch to this sort of stuff. Although the music, the instrumental, makes me want to get a bit fruity on my feet and go have a little bit of a tap dance in the pit. I think I can't be seen doing this to these kids. You know where I'm coming from? I'm a grown man. Anyway, that's room for discussion. Death to wall but metal
So my opinion on this, I stated at the start of this listen through, my opinion of DRI from the tunes I had heard of them in their crossover thrash metal stage, which is like 90% of their catalogue. I consider them dry, like not necessarily consisting of character I would like within metal music, you know? And as of so far on this record, I still kind of feel that way. These riffs are incredibly basic overall as a sound, you know what I mean? It's pretty intense, fast wise. It's in your face. It's punk rock, but it's. There's, there's no real outside of the box. The box is very small and it's very concentrated and duh, 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 inside the box, but there's no like. You know, as as far as having a push party and going mad in the pit and going a bit mental, it's good music. But there's no real riff where I can get behind and say, Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna I can't wait for that riff. There's not been one riff on this record so far where I thought that's the sickest riff, you know what I mean? Which I'm waiting for and I'm hoping for. And I know they probably didn't mean to do this and it's like, oh, why are you, why are you equating capitalist linguistics with punk rock music? But this band got in the market early, branded themselves well with the logo and established themselves. And in a, I'm not going to downplay this. I'm not going to downplay this. They created something very, very special that other bands then went forth and made better and developed on. Maybe DRI's records after this get better. But as of so far, I've enjoyed it, but I've not been impressed. There's been no hooks or no real, you know, element in the music that I have found extraordinary. It's been ordinary, you know? I mean, maybe in bloody early 80s this would be groundbreaking I'm sure it was but in 2023 looking back you know what I mean it's not Sabbath I, I, I've been listening to Sabbath and they're still an incredible act you know Living in darkness. As the questions I can answer, give me problems I can't solve. All suggestions I can respect, is there anything at all? Fight for death, toss it up, make my choice and throw it up. Shot us all, down the hatch, mine's made up the second chance. 
those decisions. Let me give it. Let me give them some. Right, it's very organic music. It's nice as far as the organic value goes. There's no doctoring or near to no doctoring in the performance of these artists, which is very pleasing. Let's keep it moving. We've got Hooked coming up at 2 minutes 44, so that's going to be a nice variation from the relatively long tune we heard just then. La, La 